Assalamualaikum everyone So today we are going to make a simple and short video advertising of promoting a product So the product that we are gonna use today is burger So all these medias um, I will provide them in the link and description down below so you can access to the link and get the footage too so as you can see here are the medias and I'm gonna drag it into the Adobe Premiere Pro okay so just drag it to this media section and drop it so once the videos have imported so I will drag the first footage which is we are going to grill the burger so I'm gonna drag and drop to this sequence section okay the first footage and then the second and the third okay so we can set the playback resolution to 1 over 4 first because uh, we don't we want to avoid the lagging issue okay so we can preview it by clicking on this play okay so uh, we would like to cut this uh, footage because we want to reduce the time, the duration So we can use this razor tool or just click C okay, And then we can cut it here okay. So once we cut it, select delete Okay, so as you can see there is a space over here If we did not remove the space it will appear this the black screen okay so just select on this space on this part and then click delete so it will mm, connect the two videos together okay next um, I would like to adjust the speed so just right click on this footage and then go to this speed or duration and then maybe we can double the speed to 200 okay and then just click ok and then we got it so if it still has the lagging issue with you as it happened to me so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna mark in this and then I will mark up here okay and then I will go to this sequence and render if render into out okay so it will render the video first Yay, so it has rendered. So you can see there is no longer lagging issue. Okay, 
So next is that we are going to include a video transition over here. So before that, as you can see here, there is this is the video part and this is the audio part. If you click on this footage, okay, there is an audio, but it doesn't sound anything. So we will we would like to separate them. Okay, so just right click on this and then click unlink. So it has separated between the video and also the audio. So you can delete the audio. Right? So next we are going to uh, include a video transition to make it look smoother. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go to this effect. Or uh, if you don't have this, you can go to this window and select this effects. Okay. So uh, just uh, search for cross dissolve. Okay. Cross dissolve for video transition. So we can just drag and drop the cross diesel to the end part of this video. Okay. So if you play if you play it to preview, you can see the video dissolves slowly to the next video. Okay. Same goes to this part. We can also drag and drop it to to here. Now it looks much better, right? Okay. So Okay, so next what are we going to do is that we are going to include a text. Okay? Actually, this second footage is quite take a lot of time right so we can always cut cut it okay we can always cut cut and delete cut and delete okay Okay, so I can mark out here. I should include the cross this up again. Okay. And then next, we're going to include a sound effect. Okay, this is the best part because if there is no sound effect, the video will not have a mood. Okay, <laughs> so um, as we have imported the media, so I'm just gonna uh, put the sound effect of grilling or cooking. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag it here. Okay, so if I want uh, the video to stop here until this, right? Because it finished here. So you can uh, use this razor tool and click cut on this audio and then just select on this part and click delete. Okay. So if you want the audio to have a dissolve effect, okay? You can go to this audio effect Exponential fit Okay This uh, you can search it Exponential fit And then 
drag it to this audio so if you can listen it carefully it slowly um slower the audio okay okay so let's play it again okay and then uh this part the eating part i'm gonna add this audio so drag and drop it here it's kind of <laughs> doesn't suit the um video right so, so i'm just gonna edit it okay cut it and make it far away Then cut it, or maybe you can search for any out uh, any other video. I mean, sorry, any other audios that suits the video. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think um you can find a better audio than mine but that's all right we're just gonna continue this okay and then we're gonna add the background music to here okay okay so with the background music it gonna sounds much better okay so as usual you we just need to cut it okay, here and then delete and then we're gonna add exponential fit okay to ensure that the sounds gonna end better Or maybe if you want to uh, adjust the you know effect right so you can click it here zoom to it and then you can adjust if you want it to be uh, start earlier so you can adjust it okay So next, uh, we are going to add a uh, text, okay? So we are going to add a text here, okay? You can you can add it anywhere in the uh, in the footage. So you just need to go to this type tool, and then um, uh, drag to the part in which you want to include the text, okay? So I want to add it here, okay. So just click it on this um, screen, and then type in uh, the text, whatever. So grill maybe, grill, okay. And then if I want to adjust the um, font or maybe the size or whatever it is, okay, it's over here under effect controls. Or uh, if you don't have these effect controls over here, you can uh, go to this window and select on effect controls over here. Okay, so I'm going to select on this text. Okay, and then I will uh, adjust this to the center. This round part, as you can see, right? To the center. Okay, next, I will... Uh, place it at the center of the screen and then I would like to increase the scale so you can adjust it here 
in most of video advertising, it will not just appear a uh, static text right on the screen. So we are going to add some uh, effect on it, which we are going to play around with um, the position or maybe the scale or the rotation or the opacity. So there is a lot of effects that you can explore so today we are going to learn on the scaling okay so i want uh you can you can adjust the text to only end at this okay and and at here footage on this footage okay so yeah until here so as I stated earlier, we want to play around with this scaling, right? So, okay. I would like to adjust the skill from 0 to 100 and then 100 to 0. Okay, meaning that the skill is going to uh, from small to big and big to small. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to this uh, click on this toggle animation. Okay, so a keyframe. Has been, has been set set up here so drag it to this part and then set again uh, at the keyframe okay so go back to uh, the previous keyframe okay and then set the scale to zero okay and then enter so as you can see here if we try to preview it the scale is going up bigger okay from small to big okay and then um, uh, we want the scale to be constant for like few seconds so we just need to add another keyframe here so as you can see here if we preview it the scale is remain constant okay and then we are going to add another keyframe to uh to decrease it okay to make it uh loss again okay let's preview it grill okay so you can um play around with this keyframe okay okay and then i will add another uh, text over here so if I would like to duplicate the effect okay and then to make use of this one I will just duplicate it so you can uh, uh, what we call it you can hold the alternate key while drag this text over here to duplicate it okay so in this grill okay go to this type tool click on it and then click on this uh, on the text on the screen and then change it to what um i would love it to be healthy okay and then i will add another text over here like to promote it um like get yours now maybe okay so just add another text okay and then yeah place it at the center okay mm and then maybe um you can um, resize it. Get this now. So I want the get yours now to have like a typing effect. Okay. So you can uh, search for linear white. Okay. And then you can drop it to this um, text. Okay, so in this text, okay, you can uh, you you 
uh, toggle this animation okay and then toggle here add a keyframe okay and then you change the wipe angle to 270 and then it should start from 100 to 100 okay here is 100 and then this one is 0 okay so um white color seems uh doesn't suit the footage so we can change the color here go to this um where is it this text okay okay and then change the fill to whatever color that you want so maybe i'll choose a pick red Okay, and I would like to place it at the center. So just it here. Okay, and then we're gonna add uh, another text on top of this. Okay, so just go on this type tool and then. Click it here. Get yours now. So, uh, if I want to make text to align at the center, so just go to this uh, text, okay, and then uh, go to center align text, okay, and then if I want to make uh, the size smaller, we can adjust it here. And then uh, this one, you can drag it on top of the get yours now, okay? Okay. So also, if you want to have uh, a background color, so you can just tick on this part. And then you can change the background color to whatever color that you want. Okay. For me, I don't want to use this background color. So let it be like this. And the effect that I want to use for this 4 RM90 ringgit. For RM8 ringgit 90 cents. So I want to use this opacity. Okay. So go to this opacity. Okay. And then make sure your... You stop at uh, the earliest uh, earliest point, okay, and then you click on this add keyframe, okay, and then you move a little bit to here, and then add a keyframe, and then this one is hundred, right? So go back to this uh, previous keyframe and change it to zero. Okay, let's preview it. So for this only, uh, for this only, also I would like to add the uh, opacity. So just go to this four RM ninety ringgit, right? Go to this uh, next keyframe, and then only add a keyframe, and then go to this previous keyframe, and then for only also at a keyframe so at this keyframe you can set it to zero okay let's be real okay so yeah um i will um, render into out again If you want to see uh, the video that you have done, so go to this file and then uh, save as. Sorry, go to this export media. Okay, or you can select the or uh, rename the output name. Okay, and change uh, 
to where you want to save okay save and then uh, make sure uh, you use maximum render quality okay and format in h264 uh, and then just click export okay it will take quite uh, a long time so you just need to patiently wait for it and inshallah it will export it successfully okay uh, that's all guys for today thank you so much i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and may this tutorial helps you um, for you to create more interesting and better videos than this Okay, inshallah. So that's all, guys. Thank you and assalamualaikum.